Hey, it's Warwick Johnston here, Director of PV Cell, uh, and we are here today because I haven't been communicating all the amazing things I've been doing. We've just been so busy focused on building awesome new functionality like our roof layout tool that uh, I've really neglected to get the message out there. Uh, all the uh, awesome new things you can do with it. So we've spent a huge amount of time and uh, resources on rebuilding a world-class standard uh, roof layout tool for solar systems and I'm here today to run you through those. One of the key things that I'm uh, really excited about our tool is that it's it's very quick and easy to, to lay out uh, simple and complex roof layouts for residential and commercial uh, but what I think I find really valuable is doing different design iterations is a really quick process. So it's not that, you know, once you've got one roof layout that you've got to go back and go, oh, what happens if I want to increase the size or change this about, uh, the, and then you have to go and start again or, you know, delete these panels and add those new ones, etc. cetera. Um, with PV cell, really quick and easy to um, perform some what if scenario analysis with your uh, roof layout tool. So when you look at our new uh, roof layout tool, you'll see a range of different features. You can draw individual panels and uh, indeed an individual row of panels and then extend those. You can draw a surface which is outlining the roof edge and identify then you know, just to fill that space. You can adjust the panel tilt, of course, and it will adjust how many panels can fit into that space. You can adjust row spacing too, so uh, you can actually uh, have them set back from one another so they don't self-shade. Or you can have banks of panels. So, for example, you know, if five rows of and, and seven columns of panels. Uh, if you're doing a large commercial layout, you can duplicate arrays. You can uh, adjust which way they're uh, facing, and um, you can do that. Uh, you know, either portrait or landscape. You can also do that um, if, with reference to uh, the, the baseline or even rotate those panels whichever way you want to face them. Uh, you can duplicate surfaces, um, delete individual panels, there's a, basically anything you want to do in this tool um, we can do it for you. So let's have a look at that. So generally the first thing that people do when they get to see a site is just inspect uh, anything they might see on that site and then come and have a look potentially at some other dates. At the moment we've got NIMAP imagery integrated here um, and actually we're going to switch across to our uh, imagery which is freely integrated into PV cell. Have a look at a couple of other dates, see if there's um, anything there that we should be noting and um, let's start with this one here now. Um, the next thing that people often do will set up an exclusion zones. So you can come into, into exclusions and draw an exclusion zones and basically anywhere you don't want to have panels for uh, one reason or another um, you can do so and you'll note as I'm drawing there we've got some dimensions showing you how long each of those lines I'm drawing is uh, and the other type of, let's just finish off these exclusions here while we're at it for you. Pretty quick and easy. Yeah, I'm not going to do the most uh, fine tuning of jobs just to save your time on this video. But the other thing to note is that I've also got these uh, exclusion uh, lines as well, and they can be useful for when you're drawing things like uh, avoiding things like skylights, for example. Um, in this case, that's not a skylight, but just as a as a way of showing you what you can do. Now, there's two ways of drawing um, the the surfaces themselves. Um, you can draw a uh, with, with a line, and the awesome thing about this is that you've got the ability to come here and you just click where you start and as you progressively drag your line you're defining both the number of, you're figuring out how many panels will fit in there and their orientation. Um, so you don't have to know that in advance and then you can come through and set their, their pitch um, in this case 20 degrees. Let me just come back and f uh, adjust that back to 5 degrees um, as if it's the roof and then we've got a very easy way of extending that array if you like. You can just come and click this little plus sign and it will fill those panels in for you excluding uh, ex except in those areas where you've got exclusion zones. Um, so there's a whole, that's, that's a quick way of um, drawing panels particularly in a residential sense. Um, now uh, you can do all so sorts of things with this um, you know, uh, to uh, include walkways. You can yeah, duplicate this array and you know, drag some more over here, etc. And we'll um, essentially make the same adjustments for those walkways and etc. So you know, if you're doing sort of patterned or tiled um, tiles or groups of uh, panels on a, on a job, then that's an easy way of doing it. Now, um, a lot of people find that's a really good way for residential to draw those um, uh, 
panels. This time I'm actually going to draw, instead of a surface, I'm going to draw a, a line, sorry, a, a surface. Uh, and here we go. While I'm at it, um, I'll also mention, all I'm going to do is just trace the outline of this roof. And you can watch these panels fill in as we go. Of course, these dimensions are also showing up as you do so. And worth noting that we've got a, a database of every um, panel that's uh, being manufactured globally. Um, and so there's our surface and I'm going to start with a five degree pitch which is basically pitch of the roof. Now you can see that we've got panels wherever they um, can go and 41.3 kilowatts worth uh, as shown there. Now a few different things we can do here which are uh, of interest. Firstly um, I can come here and I'm going to un untick this sink and you can see now that if I want to paste the panels over there, I can do so. I can face them wherever I want. Um, that's an interesting way of being able to draw, you know, auto fill an area, um, but have the panels facing a different direction. I'm going to come back here and sync them up to what we call the baseline here, which is this red line. That's the way the panels are all facing. If I want to change that, I can just click on any of these little arrows, and all the panels will be now facing in that direction. Whether they be doing so in portrait format or I can flip the panels into uh, landscape format there. So that's a quick and easy way of trialing in different uh, panel directions that you may like to do. Um, you can also double click on any of these lines to make them the baseline. In fact, if you click and hold them, you can go and make adjustments. Now there's other ways of making adjustments than just click clicking and dragging a line. Um, in fact, sometimes you've drawn a simple rectangle and you go, ah, oh, geez, I want to make a small edit. Um, all you need to do is come here and this is, uh, if you see this little toggle um, sign, that toggles the uh, little vertices here. And I can come in here and add a little vertice in here. And this might be because um, they've, the owners just did told me they're about to call, install a, a satellite just there. So I don't want to put any panels there. So I'm going to come here and grab those little... Um, vertices and add extra bits to my polygon, make any fine tuning tweaks that I need to and you know, hey presto, you've got a different system. The next kind of thing that people often want to do is actually have uh, intero setbacks and that can be because you're on a flat roof but you want to pitch the panels at a, at a tilt and so you want to say that every row I'm going to have two meters of spacing and I'm going to come through and set the pitch of my panels at 20 degrees and so there you can see very quickly and easily how many panels you can fit with that, that spacing um, in, in that area and uh, next thing you can do however if it was a flat array for example is you can have uh, set up banks of panels um, so that every uh, six rows for example and every five columns you've got a walkway so that people can get through to access and maintain those panels um, and you can go and adjust those and figure out what's the best um, uh, maintenance and spacing that you want there um, and so all the time that you've been doing this you've been seeing the update of how many um, uh, panels are fitting on that roof um, it's worth noting you can have multiple ar arrays going I'm just showing you one like I said you can duplicate that Sorry, duplicate that, that array and um, drag it over there. You see the same same shape there. Um, and I'm going to come out of here and say, oh, let's just create the mirror image because sometimes you'll find roofs which are mirror images of each other. And now you've got a, um, a system facing the other way. This can be a useful way of doing east-west um, arrays on flat roofs where half the panels face east and half the panels face west. You can actually set these up to overlap, etc. So um, not what we're going to do today. In fact, we'll delete that one for you. Um, but a range of different things. I hope you see that this is a very powerful um, tool and there's a whole range of different configurabilities that's possible. The last thing I'll show you here is that you can take a snapshot. So you can define the area that you want to include in your proposal. Um, PVSL will automatically um, you know, make an attempt at doing this for you, but it's possible that you can go and define it yourself as well. Um, and also, of course, there's a preview mode and that takes away all the extra um, uh, visual artifacts there too. So I hope you can agree this is a fantastic tool and it's flexible for uh, almost any circumstance uh, and very quick and easy to do various different design iterations 
um, as, as we go. One thing I, I didn't show you there is you can also do some setback from the, the uh, edge of the polygon. So uh, let's say 200 mils back from the, the edge there. Um, if you wanted to go and be significant, you'll see that that's now uh, two meters back from the edge. Um, so a whole range of different uh, things that you can do in, this, in the tool and we're constantly adding to it. So I hope you can see it's a uh, pretty sophisticated tool and we're really proud of it. We've invested a whole heap of thought, time, energy, money into um, producing the most awesome roof layout tool that, people, that um, Australia's got. Um, we'd love to take this tool internationally indeed and we're getting some great feedback from people using it too. So love to hear your feedback, love to hear what we can do better uh, and uh, we look forward to um, being on your journey for solar success. Thanks so much.